What is up, lit people? I'm Armenti, and welcome back to another Lumion Legacy video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what to expect from the new event in Lumion Legacy that is most likely coming out tomorrow, Sunday, or sometime next week. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. This really helps me out a lot, and you can always change your mind later. So guys, last week they dropped the Valentine's Day event part one, and in part one of the Valentine's Day event, you can actually find a Valentine's Day exclusive fan cup, which has the odds of one in 100 to appear. You can find this fan cup in any part of the map. This Valentine's fan cup also has an alpha version, a gamma version, and it obviously has the secret ability version as well. So, what should you expect with the new event? Well, part two of this event that Lumi Legacy is currently hosting. Okay, so first, let's talk about something real quick. On February 11th, someone tweeted at Brad asking about the event, and then Brad responded with the following, which said, Main part of the event is not directly Valentine's related. If it's not ready, we will do a special small update in times for Valentine's. It will then be followed up sometime next week with the real deal. Okay guys, so basically the main event for Lumin Legacy wasn't the Valentine's Day event. It is actually something much more bigger. Something which Brad says is going to be the real deal. Honestly, I have no clue what the real deal could be. They could possibly make a random event or they could actually possibly make a Chinese New Year Lumion Legacy event. For those who don't know, the Chinese New Year was actually on February 12th, which was a week ago. So it could be possible that part two of this event could be related to the Chinese New Year. However, other than that, there are six things that I want to talk to you guys about, which you should possibly expect for this big event that Lumion Legacy is about to host. Number one would be that Fan Cup is most likely going to evolve in this part two of the event. There are three different ways in which Fan Cup could evolve. Part one would be getting it to a specific level. Part two would be raising the Fan Cup's happiness to ecstatic. And part three, it could evolve by giving it an item. For example, in the Halloween event from 2020, Kabunga evolved using the Nightmare Orb. In the Christmas event from 2020, Cradle evolved using the Festive Lights, and it is possible that Fan Cup could evolve through an item that you can find in Lumion Legacy. However, finding an item does involve having some sort of shop, and in the Halloween event, you could kick pumpkins, get candies, and buy the Nightmare Orb. In the Christmas event, you could play the gift exchange minigame, get some cookies, and then exchange those cookies for the Festive Lights. Which brings me to the next point, it is possible that with the new event in Lumion Legacy, there is going to be coming a small Small mini game that you can play either alone or with your friends and by playing the small mini game you could get some sort of reward and then using this reward you can trade them in for the possible item that could evolve a fan cup other than that this already has been confirmed but the boost token bundle is coming back obviously because this is an event on february 17th someone tweeted at brad saying will there be another confirmed boost token sale for the main event like the halloween one gotta know for research and then brad confirmed by saying yes so do expect the boost token bundle to be dropped in this event Another thing to expect with this event would be the new Lumions that are going to be added to the game. Obviously, with each event that Lumion Legacy hosts, they always drop new Lumions. For example, in the Halloween event, they drop the Halloween Duskin, the Halloween Kapanga. In the Christmas event, they drop the Christmas Reindeer Ikasune, the Christmas uh, Cradle. And in this event, they have so far dropped the Halloween Fan Cup. So I do expect to see more new Lumions or more new variants of Lumions for this event that is going to be released soon. And obviously, you can't forget about the new potential roamer that is going to be added to this event assuming this is going to be a very very big event because that is what we have so far been told that this event is going to be huge there's going to be a new roamer added to the event for example in the halloween event they added metronet in the christmas event they added wobblisk so which new roamer could be added to the valentine's day event could it be a cupid type roamer could it be a love type roamer what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below if you were to add a roamer to the Valentine's Day event part 2, which roamer would you add? And finally, something new to expect with this update would be a new location. For example, in the Halloween event they dropped Dr. Halloween's Nightmare, in Christmas event they dropped Jolly Village, and someone actually said that they might even drop Lovely Village for this event. I do believe that is a really really nice name and an interesting theory, however, I don't feel like that is going to happen, but do look forward to a new location that is going to be dropped with 
with the part two of this big event in Lumion Legacy that is going to be hosted soon. So overall guys, there are a lot of different things to expect for this event and this is going to be very, very exciting and I just can't wait for this to be released because I know that I'm going to be grinding this event as much as possible. Are you going to be grinding the event? Let me know down below. But yeah guys, I do believe that's going to be everything for today's video. If you guys enjoyed watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm Armenti and we lit.